Hi, this is Tally reporting to you from the 2009 InterSolar Conference at the Moscone Center in San Francisco. And I'm here with Alan from SATCON, who's going to tell us a little bit about his company and what they do. Well, SATCON is uh, one of the world's uh, leaders in power conditioning systems, specifically photovoltaic power conditioning systems, or simply said, uh, solar inverters. And uh, we have a variety of sizes from 30 kilowatts up to the largest in the world, which is one megawatt, all three phase. We focus on the large scale systems and we don't have anything for the residential market. But we see the, the largest need in utility scale multi megawatt uh, systems today. And so we're in a great position for that. SATCON entered the, the PV inverter market in uh, 2003 and in, within the first 18 months had captured 65% uh, of the North American market, uh, mainly because they, uh, their first entry, which was a 100 kilowatt inverter, was 5% more efficient than anybody else's at the time. And it was an all-in-one box solution, which included all the components which previously were mounted separately, were all factory integrated into a cabinet, including the transformer and the disconnect switches. So as soon as the uh, integrators and installers uh, realized that that product was available, they all wanted it. So it's like, uh, uh, have you gotten your SATCON yet? <laughs> Are you working on branching into the European market right now? Yes, we have an office in Prague and we have an office in Madrid and we're associated with a couple of other um, European uh, companies uh, specifically Survey Digital in Greece so we're trying to strategically locate ourselves where the markets are strongest in Europe we have products that are certified for Europe in pretty much all the countries France, Italy, Spain, Greece, Germany and uh, the Czech Republic we've been in Europe since I think we installed the first uh, inverters there in uh, late 2007. 20 inverters on the largest roof mounted system in the world in Zaragoza, Spain. And since then we've put about 40 into uh, the Czech Republic and we have some that are going to uh, some systems in France as well. So we're, we've uh, rapidly uh, penetrated that market and we seem to have a very good reputation. Uh, can we talk about your product in a little bit more detail? Sure. Uh, what you see behind us here is the uh, 500 kilowatt uh, model of the. You want me to take that? Uh, 500 kilowatt uh, inverter, which is um, our most popular model to date. Uh, SATCON has shipped uh, 160 megawatts of this one model uh, all around the world, and all of those are installed and working now. So, and the first one was installed in 2005. So the track record of this particular model is pretty. Um, uh, pretty substantial and it's very very positive so it's again it's our most popular model um, we have but we have ranges from 30 kilowatts we have a 50 75 100 135 150 250 375 500 and one megawatt and they are they're, the basis for their uh, design approach is to make something that's robust to the point where it be extremely reliable at the same time being very easy to install it's everything in one box, factory integrated, so it minimizes your field installation time and maximizes your reliability because if the less you have done in the field, the more you have done in the factory, generally the higher the reliability is going to be. Fewer mistakes made by people who are not quite sure how to do it. Okay, and uh, so that's really SATCON's strength. From the very first inverter that they built, uh, they've all been made to go outside. Previous to that, the inverters were made to go inside. In fact, in Europe, still the primarily they're making them uh, uh, for inside, and you have to put it inside a house, which means additional permits and so on and so forth. But this 500 kilowatt inverter, for example, can be set out right in the middle of the solar array, right out in the weather. It can operate at full power up to 122 degrees Fahrenheit ambient. So we've even got them out in deserts and in high temperature environments. We have them in Ontario, Canada, in cold, cold weather. The air is drawn in through the top and blown out through the bottom. And those people who, who, who understand convection say, well, that's just backwards. But it's really a more practical way of cooling because if you draw it in the bottom, you're going to draw in moisture and you're going to draw in dust and dirt. And you can contaminate your electronics. By bringing it in through the top and blowing out the bottom, it's a self-cleaning action and a self-drying action. So that's just one of the many features that makes SATCON a better performing inverter when you're going to install a SATCON inverter, the only place you need to get in is this cabinet right here. 
So the the electrical installer, he just needs to open up this one part and do all the electrical connections just in one closet. The other the other sections there are for servicing, and the um, which is a rare event. But all the uh, Satcon has always designed their inverters in a modular fashion, so that if you do have a problem, it's uh, quick removal, quick replacement of a modular component. And we also have a commonality of parts between models, so you don't have to have uh, a different part for every different model of inverter. There's common common elements. The power supplies are the same, the capacitor banks are the same, and uh, they're built with a 250 kilowatt power bo power block. There's two of them in this one, making the 500 kilowatt inverter. What new um, developments are occurring in the company as far as uh, production? Well, uh, we're expanding our manufacturing capability. Uh, our main plant has been in uh, near Toronto, Canada for a number of years. Uh, we're uh, expanding our Boston facility to do manufacturing in Boston. Uh, we're going to do a final assembly and QC in Fremont, California, at our facility in Fremont, California. We have a plant that's um, uh, just coming online in Shenzhen, China to deal with the Asian market. We also have a couple of new products that uh, uh, will probably, one of which is going to revolutionize how people uh, deal with um, uh, power conditioning and managing solar rays. Uh, so that's called Solstice. So uh, I think we're going to build that in Boston. So we were made in America, we're made in North America, and uh, we have a, a product that's proven uh, in, in the marketplace. And can you talk a little bit about the sustainability of the company? Right, well, we try to practice what we preach. Uh, we, uh, all of our facilities, uh, we use uh, uh, the most energy efficient uh, um, products that we can, even in our factory. We have solar panels on our roof in Boston. We have solar panels on our roof in, in our facility in Canada. So we try to practice what we preach. Uh, ultimately, our, our best way to perpetuate sustainability is to provide the most practical and cost-effective power conditioning solutions. It has to make financial sense for our customers, otherwise they won't do it. As much as anybody wants to be green, it's got to be cost-effective. So they're not going to pay, it's got to it's provide a return on investment. So we, with, I have a group that's, uh, that provides system engineering and application engineering, and that is to help our customers improve their designs to get a better return on their assets and ultimately get better performance out of their systems, consequently better return on investment, and lowest maintenance cost and lowest risk of operation. Those are the magic things that, that the people, the investors, have to hear before they're going to invest in renewable energy. So everybody wants sustainable, everybody wants renewable energy, but it's got to be cost effective. You know, is there anything else that you want to add that we haven't covered? Everybody and their brothers making, making inverters now. But what I'm seeing in the marketplace is that, is that the serious customers don't want the cheapest, they don't want to try something new. They want something that's proven, but they want something. They want to buy the best. Actually, if you look at the total bill of material cost of any uh, solar power system, the least expensive part, the significant part, is the inverter. The most expensive part is the solar panel. So, to me, you could double the price of the inverter, and if it if it really was reliable and really performed well, it would be a good investment. Hey, well, Alan, thank you so much for talking to me. This is Tyler reporting to you from the 2009 Inner Solar Conference in San Francisco. Thank you.